And the Secretary of State is no longer a voting member of the state election board. I spoke with Secretary Brad Raffensperger in a one-on-one -on -one interview earlier today. Obviously, Georgia's election law, the changes have been all over the news. They've really pro you know, provoked a national debate, a lot of outrage. Many people, including the president, President Biden, saying it's modern day Jim Crow, saying that the law is racist. It will limit black Georgians access to voting. So as secretary of state, how do you respond? Many people have said uh, statements that are just so over the top. They're not supported by facts. The facts are Georgia has had photo ID for in-person voting since 2009. Now we're going to just move away and transition away from signature match. And we've actually been sued by both the Democrat Party and the Republican Party on signature match. And so we're moving towards driver's license number and birthday, day, month, year. It's a much more objective way of moving forward. And I actually ran on that in 2018. I believe this is the way to go. That's a solid piece of reform that's in this bill. And the other thing is we're gonna we're gonna make sure that the lines are shorter. You're not going to be any longer than one hour because if they are, the next election you have to break your precinct in half or you have to add additional uh, poll workers and additional equipment. That's another solid reform. Well, you did mention that um, Georgia already had some form of voter ID, but why was it necessary to expand it? Can you talk about that? Well, we had been sued by the Democrat Party and the Republican Party over signature match. Both of them said that is very subjective. And so we've taken that off and we're now moving towards the idea of using driver's license numbers and also your birthday, day, month, year. It's very similar to what they're using in Minnesota, which happens to be a left-leaning state. It's also used right now in right-leaning states. So it's really a nonpartisan. It's a very methodical way of doing things. It's very objective instead of subjective. All right, well, Secretary, you are running for re-election. Obviously, you would not be running if you did not think you could win. We know that you're already being challenged by a candidate that is backed by former President Trump. How, how concerned are you knowing that you have been the subject of Trump's ire? You do not have his support. You are in a southern state. Does this concern you? Well, the candidate you're referring to was in Congress. and Every year he was in Congress, he never introduced a single piece of election reform. And when we had the we Republicans control the House, the Senate, and the presidency, we didn't have a single piece of election reform legislation. He never did anything in Washington. Who's what's to say he's going to do anything with in Georgia? I just only pray he fell prey to a lot of the misinformation, disinformation, and we sent him a corrective letter, a point-by-point -point rebuttal of everything that was said, and we got no response from him.